Hello, my dear friends. This is Jaden from ATE2. Today, I'd like to share you a powerful and multifunctional soldering station. It's called AE988D. D indicates that this soldering station has a digital display function. In this video, I will talk about what AE988D comes with, how it works, and how well it does the soldering. As you can see here, our AE988D soldering station is packed with a corrugated box. On the top, there reads soldering station and the station may unit sketch. This neutral description could help prevent competitors conducting manufacturer directly through packing box with brand name. However, for OEM orders, we could add your company name or logo to make it distinctive in the market. On my left hand side, we will have a white label indicating the product code, input voltage and frequency, and plug time. By far, EU plug, UK plug, US plug, and Australia plug are the most common seen plugs for ATE2 products. On my right hand side, we will have an iron stand sketch and recycling, fragile, and waterproof marks. We ATE2 cares environmental production. Here we use recyclable car box box instead of plastic box for packing and lead free materials during production. We are willing to contribute ourselves for the future worth living for our children and for us. Now let's open the box. There includes a user menu, which is printed in English, and a well-tied power cord. Now let's take out this paper pal tray, and we will see the soldering, the soldering iron station handle, wire stand with 10 gram brass wool and the main unit. At this moment, we finally have what we pay for, the input wire cable, iron stand, main unit, and the output cable. Now let's start with our power cord. Our power cord meets EM50525 and row standard. They need undergo and 100% pass the electrical test, during which no open circuit, no short circuit, no wire dislocation, no electrical failure happens. Its high grade insulation shelf reach VW1 retardant standard. Effectively avoid the flames in case any short circuit occurs. Relative certified like VDE and all test reports are available upon the request. Next, let's come to the soldering iron stand. This stand integrates handle placement and cleaning function. The soldering iron stand can be divided into two parts. The front cover is made of aluminum alloy. This could help dissipate heat this quickly. As you can see here, there contains a 10 gram brass wool inside the alloy to help clean the soldering tip easily. The rest is made of fireproof plastic it can resist up to 150 degrees Celsius temperature. Moreover, the heat dissipation between soldering tip and the stand is indirect. So there are rooms for self-cooling, so there's no less possibility for our tips to melt the stand. Please don't worry if you have this concern. On the top, there are six holes to store extra tips or soldering tools like a screwdriver. 
I believe this design could improve your stand eff efficiently. In the bottom, we will see two EVA pads which make our stand more stable and avoid slippery. And finally, don't you think this our black color matches each other with our main unit? The main unit operates like a brain to control all the soldering parameters. But let's begin from its appearance. In the front, you can see our ATE2 logo in green. Of course, we could print your logo for OEM request. Below the logo, there is a signal light. We, when the soldering temperature is rising up to the set temperature, signal light will be green all the time. However, if soldering temperature becomes stable, the signal light flickers at a fixed frequency, which I will show later. Below the signal, there is an AC 25 voltage outlet to connect the handle. We use mistake proof plug to connect the outlet and the handle. You can plug in the female outlet only when the arrow on the female plug face top. On the right, we will see a digital screen to show the exact soldering temperature and at a certain parameters, its brightness can be adjustable from level 1 to level 6. So set the right brightness to make your eyes suitable. Below the digital screen, we will see a set button and the turning knob. These two functional keys usually work together. They help you do the soldering more effectively more precisely and more user-friendly. For example, we can achieve Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion, auto standby and sleep, temperature locking functions, etc. In the button, there is a calibration hole to help you adjust the correct soldering temperature. In most cases, we will change to different types of soldering tips according to different working projects, which may cause temperature difference. Then you can put the screen driver into the calibration hole and clock the temperature error. This is a useful function for precise soldering. On the right button, we will, we will have on-off button to control the whole station. Also, there are some fences for cool heat dissipation, effectively avoid overheat from the inside transformer. Since we have a transformer built in the case, which is heavy and solid, I think it weighs, I think it weighs about 1.3 kilogram. The soldering station can sit super stably on your workbench compared to those lightweight products it won't move around when you are trying to get your work done. On the back, the most important thing will be the product stickers and series number. There is manufacturer ATE2, Z and UKCA certificate approval, product code, input voltage, and voltage power. Of course, this label content and custom could be customized for OEM request. Now let's move to our iron handle. It is an intelligent and technological product. This handle has integrated closed loop temperature control technology and built in PID system. They assure our soldering iron quick in temperature rise and precise in temperature control. That is as a green silicon cover to prevent direct heat transmission from the handle to your finger. This economic design, short length and slim body and lightweight handle looks cool and thanks to this soft and empty bending silicon hand wire, I believe you won't get tired after hours of soldering. 
let's loosen this stainless steel sleeve we can see that is a leaf free t900 series southern tip which is universal and i believe you can buy it from local hardware stores easily if you want to change to different types of tips and you can see our heating element it's made of high quality four core pct ceramic it takes only 35 seconds to reach 300 degrees celsius quick enough for most southern jobs let's further loosen our handle now you will see grab wire from the input cable the ceramic heating element connects to four wires while many other suppliers use only two cores to save cost. This is one reason why this soldering iron temperature could rise fast to the sub temperature. In PCBA, there is a motion sensor, an intelligent electronic component to achieve auto standby and slip function. And finally, we can see that the PCBA is plug and play design. So whenever there is a heating element broken, you can change the new heat heater quickly, couldn't you? All right, let's see how well our AE988D soldering iron works during actual soldering job.